Okay, today we're going to be looking at uh, reviewing what we went over in a previous tutorial of redirecting the output of audio from your computer to an input, and we're going to utilize that to send audio from your computer through a phone call using Google's Voice and their call phone feature. Um, you'll have to have a Google Voice account, and you also need to have the plugin installed in your Gmail account. Um, and there's plenty of tutorials out there on how to do that. Um, so first off, I've already got an audio file here recorded in Audacity, and I'll press play. Hello, how are you doing today? I hope that you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. So that's what I'm going to be sending out to a phone call I make, uh, but obviously you can do any audio output from your computer, whether it be an MP3 or audio from a video or a recorded message like that. So we're going to start up. Uh, the Pulse Audio uh, Control Panel, so P-A-V-U-C, uh, Control, so P-A-V-U Control, we'll hit Enter, bring that window into view here, and I'll minimize this terminal window. I've already got my uh, Google Voice dialer up here, I kind of have it off the screen because I don't want you to see uh, my phone number uh, that I'm going to be dialing, which is my personal phone number. Let me type it in here. Okay, so we'll go to our record tab here in our um, Pulse Audio uh, control panel, and I'll click call and start this call, which is going to call my cell phone here. Now the audio in the computer speakers are going to sound kind of staticky, but the call is going to come out clear on the recording. I'm just going to click reject and reject that call, and as soon as I do that, Google Voice picks up, and you can see that they now shows up in the... Uh, uh, recording panel here. Uh, by default I have it set to my microphone, you can always change the default, but I'm going to change it to monitor. And once we get the beep, I'll play this message. Hello, how are you doing today? I hope that you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. And then I'll hit end call. And of course my phone number shows up right there, I'll have to remember to block that out. Okay. That's my cell phone ringing that I've got a new voicemail. I'm going to check my voicemail. I'll put it on speakerphone. You can hear how it sounds. So, call in my voicemail, speakerphone. You have one new voice message and one saved message. New message. Hello, how are you doing today? I hope that you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Okay? Bye. To replay this message. So as you can see, we very easily uh, redirected audio output uh, from our computer to Google Voice. Once again, uh, when it popped up, it wanted to uh, default to my microphone. You can always change the default input. Over here, you have this little checkbox here that says set fallback, because if we went to make another call, it would default back to the microphone. If we check it on our, let's go, um, monitors, and we check this button right here. Now that's the default, so you don't have to worry about switching that once the person picks up. So if you set that to your default, it might make things a little bit easier, but just remember to change it back if you want to later on record from your microphone. So that's it. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day, and I hope that you found this useful. And please visit filmsbychris.com for more videos, tutorials like this.